Yo, it's that time of the year, the beginning of the year, and we're going to look at how did this whole credit card rewards thing play out? I used a credit card. I paid off every month. How did the cash back go? And I'm going to tell y'all why I'm no longer cool with the Visa Amazon Prime rewards card, and I'm going to switch it up to get a new card. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about why. Let's dive in. Let's see what the rewards were looking like for 2022 let's get it i'm marcus you're the channel the debt free dad where we're talking finances financial takes financial topics current events attorney reactions and more importantly follow my family's journey to financial freedom hey this isn't legal advice this is not financial advice this is just me giving my opinion and take because I am a licensed attorney, but I'm not your attorney. If you need that stuff, go find a professional in your area. Okay, now that the disclaimer is out of the way, this is the second year where I've essentially used my credit card for the vast majority of the purchases to pay bills, to pay for vacations, to get groceries, auto repairs, for summer camps, all of the stuff that I can use it for where it monetarily makes sense. Again, some places will charge a fee to use it there to pay certain bills, but if that fee is less than what I would get back in rewards, then I would use it. If not, I'll just use another means to pay that particular bill. This is the second year I started it. I was a hardcore debit card only person, but once I paid off the credit cards in the car, I did a 30-day trial to see how it would go. Lo and behold, we got about a $100 in cash back rewards. So we did it for a year, and we did it again this year. First things first, how much money did I use on this card in total in 2022? We put a little over $117,000 on this Visa Amazon Prime Rewards card. Okay, now again, like I said, that's made up of bills, utilities, vacations, repairs, groceries, gas, anything that we could make a purchase on, we actually used it. So it came up to a little over $117,000 total. Now, remember, I tell everyone all the time, we do pay our balance off every month. Um, and, you know, me personally, I wasn't a fan of trying to use a credit card to get back rewards when I still had credit card debt and card debts. Before I decided to play this rewards game, I wanted to make sure I cleared up all of those annoying debts like credit cards, cars, loans from furniture companies or department store cars and all of that type of stuff. Now, how much did we get back in rewards? I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. We got over $1,500 in cash back rewards. So we, we had a pretty good year as far as our rewards that we got back. Um, most of the times, 99.9% .9 of the time, the purchases that we are making on the card are things that we already have budgeted. It may be that one random one-off, but we have a little bit of flexibility in that budget. So even if it is a one-off, we aren't working from a deficit, so to speak. Now, the question is, is this worth it? But uh, Dave Ramsey says it all the time. He's never met a millionaire who said, you know how I became a millionaire? It was those reward points that got me there. So at the end of the day, I think it is something you can do if you're disciplined to do it. I always say that credit is like fire. It can keep you warm. It can cook a great meal. But it'll burn down your house and burn your ass if you don't use it responsibly or you don't know what you're doing. So remember, there is some reward there. But if you don't have the, the discipline, there is some risk there. Now, why am I giving up on this card? And I'm not even going to go into details because I did a video before of the benefits of the card. There's no annual fee. It's like 5% back on all your purchases from Amazon, 2% back for gas, restaurants, department stores, 2% back at Whole Foods, and 1% back on everything else. Well, I did a little research before I tell you all why I'm not rocking with this card no more. And what I found in my research when you get points for spending and utilizing a credit card, the best way to maximize those points is by using any other mean as opposed to cash back. So what do I mean by that? Let's give an example. If I had 60,000 points on my card and I elected to get that in cash back, that's 60,000 points 
would equate to somewhere around $600. However, if I use that 60,000 points to do something and travel, either for airfare or for hotel accommodations, that 60,000 points would equate to almost $1,200 in benefits. So what I found that if you're going to do the rewards game, it's probably a lot better options you can do as opposed to using cash back if you really want to maximize the value. So that was something that really also helped me decide that I need to really ditch this card and move on to a different card. Now, I'll talk about the card that I've got or I'm going to get or I have, whatever, uh, in another video. Why did I get rid of this card? Okay. So I have about a $22,000 credit limit on this card. Now, at any given month, there is an outstanding balance of five to $7,000 because we use this card for our monthly expenses, depending on if an emergency come up. But at any given month, there's about five to $7,000 on the card that we pay off at the end of every month. Now, this year, I probably mentioned, well, I didn't mention it to you, but I may have mentioned in another video. I do plan on purchasing another vehicle either at the end of this year or the beginning of next year, and I'm going to save up, purchase that vehicle cash. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I want to use my credit card to purchase that vehicle so I can get the rewards points, and then I'll just go ahead and pay off that balance that I use to purchase a credit card, pay it off same day, no harm, no foul, but I get all of these points. So because the car that I'm thinking about purchasing is going to be anywhere from $15,000 to $18,000, $19,000, let's just do the math. If I'm going to buy a $19,000 car, at any given month, I have about five dollars to $7,000 on the car that I actually use. Normally, if we do the math on that, again, a $22,000 credit limit wouldn't be enough to actually have make the car purchase along with all of the other budgeted items that we use the credit card for. So I called up to do a credit increase. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a credit increase. So that way, when it's time for me to get the car in 12 months, 15 months, whatever, I can a hey, get the car, pay that bill off, pay off the the rolling five or seven thousand dollars that I have from my normal budgeted expenses, and there will be enough utilization, enough credit available on the card to do that. So I, you know, go online and I try to apply for an increase online, and it said the function wasn't available. And I was like, hmm, that's odd. So what did I do? I actually called up. I was like, hey, I need a credit line increase. Now, on all my credit cards, I never use my household income. I just use my personal income because my personal income is sufficient to get the credit that I need. And so I called up. They asked, hey, what's your what's your annual income? I tell them, hey, this is my annual income. Um, you know, they go through, they start processing things and they say, oh, we couldn't increase your credit. Now, I'm shocked. I'm like, wow, why can't you increase my credit? You know what I mean? Like I had the car for two and a half years. I pay it off every month. Um, you know, never had a late payment, never had, uh, never really carried a balance <laughs> past the due date. And so, you know, I got a, my credit score is like a 780, 790, something crazy like that. So I was really like confused as to why they wouldn't approve it. Of course they had no reason. So what did I do? I did what all black people do when someone in customer service tells them something they don't want to hear. I told them, you know what? I just get another credit card of a company who will give me what the hell I need. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to close this card out. I might, but I'm going to definitely stop using it. I think I'm only going to start using this card for where it's valuable at with gas purchases and with purchasing items off of Amazon. That's it. So because they wouldn't give me the increased credit limit that I wanted and they couldn't even provide me no damn real reason why. I said, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this card and get a different card. So I did get another card. i tell you all about the card I selected in another video. And yes, this card has an annual fee. I moved up to a car that has an annual fee. I know I said I never get a credit card with an annual fee. I'm not paying y'all to use y'all credit card. But, you know, hey, 
what can you say? We change our tune sometimes. So long story short, close out this video. We put $117,000 on the Visa Rewards Prime cards that I'm not really rocking with no more. We got back uh, over $1,500 in cash back rewards, but I learned through research the best way to maximize your credit card rewards is not to get cash back because you get less value per point is to actually utilize it on travel. So that's something I'm taking into consideration as we start to use a new card. As always, I appreciate you all tuning in. And if you like this video, check the video out on the screen for more finance content.